In this next series of videos, we'll take a look at using some of the placement tools inside of Ecosim Building Designer Electrical. Up here in the ribbon interface, you see where we have the symbols group and the raceways group. So we'll start taking a look at some of those tools. In this video, we'll concentrate on the place symbols by two points. First, a couple of setup things I will do. I am in this ePower1 file that was created in a previous video and we went through setting up the electrical database and registering files and setting up our building structure. I'm setting my floor selector here to office floor one. And basically that's gonna show me my column grids out here. So that also turns on the ACS plane lock and the ACS plane snap lock. Now in electrical, we really don't utilize those. So I'm making sure I turn both of those off. Just be aware that when you do set the floor selector, it turns those locks on. So I'm just turning them off. Now we did see in previous videos how we can use this building properties tool up here in the space management group of the ribbon interface opens this building manager here are the spaces that were imported in from the architectural model and we can utilize this to navigate around in the model so i'll choose this 110 corridor and hit the magnifying glass icon here that says display room shape so any views that i have open up will zoom in to that space whether the view is in a top orientation like view 2 and then you can see how it displays the outline of that shape. View three is in a front orientation. So I'm seeing that outline edge on in that view. Now in view one, I've, I've got it in an illustration display style and I'm seeing the ceilings in there. We're gonna, I'll turn those off in a minute here. So I'm, I'm not seeing the shape down through there. Now to exit out of the building manager, notice that the prompt, which is in the message center down here in electrical, it says data point, which is a left click or reset, which is a right click to end the preview. So I'll right click here and then I can exit out of this dialog box. Another thing I wanna make sure is my annotation scale lock is turned on. Just to double check if I'll come down here to my locks. You see, as I hover over that lock symbol in the status bar, I see these are the locks that I've got turned on and I see annotation scale is one of those. You can always click on it. And there you can see the annotation scale lock is on. Finally, I'm gonna turn off a couple of levels here in the architectural reference. So I'm just gonna use my element selection, right press out in space out here. And notice we can get to our level off tool. So I'll choose that ceiling and the suspended ceiling over here. So in the ribbon interface in the electrical tab in the symbols group, I'll come up to these tools on the left here and choose the place symbol by two points. So you notice in the prompt, it's telling me to select the start point. So I'll choose this corner of this wall right here and let AccuSnap find that point right there. Now this point's defining the distance of where the receptacle will be, you'll see where we can set an X distance for the location of the symbol. So it will be from this point. So I'll left click to accept that. And then you see, looks like you're drawing a line. Well, it's just showing you that you're picking other points out here. And so the second point is just defining the orientation. So I want the receptacle be, to be along this wall. So really I can snap anywhere along this wall. So you see, I've got the bottom of that wall for the endpoint, so a data point or left click to accept that point. Once we do that, you see you get the place symbol dialog box. I see I've got this float switch mechanical is the last symbol used here. So I need to change that. I'm placing the receptacle. So right under this preview, you can see you can choose select symbol. So that will open the symbol manager Remember in the symbol manager, how it's organized by our symbol library. I've got the ANSI Y32.9-1972 library. And if we expand that, we see our different categories. In this case, I'll go to lighting and power. Then we have our groups within those categories and I'll choose receptacle outlets. So when you choose the group, you see the symbols in that group over here on the right. I'll choose the duplex receptacle outlet here. On the bottom left are subtypes 
that you could assign if you needed to right now. I'm not going to assign any subtypes to this particular receptacle and we can say OK. Then we have our settings here in the rest of the dialog box. The settings for the 2D symbol, I'll leave the angle at zero. The offset X, I've got it set to four feet and that's fine, that's what I want. That's that distance I was talking about from that start point, the receptacle will, will be placed four feet over. We have an offset Y, in this case I don't want to offset it Y, that would go off of the wall in the Y direction in a, in a top view. We can flip the symbol, in this case I don't need to. Then for the 3D symbol, we've got the height setting here, and this is going to be at one foot six. Then we also have, notice the offset Y here. We, we have buttons over here for preview, CAD, and cancel. Then we have this cycle switch that we can turn on. Whenever you see this cycle switch, that means to reopen the, the tool. So keep cycling it through until I cancel it. So if I hit preview right here, You'll see that I'll get a preview of the symbol. If I look over here in the top view in view two, which is in a top orientation, I see the preview of the symbol there. So you can see again in the status bar down here, the prompt is saying, I can either left click data point or right click reset to end that preview. So I'll do a right click and you can see how that gets me back to the place symbol and so to actually place it you can choose the CAD button here. When we choose the CAD button, if a group in the symbol library has multiple levels assigned to it, then this dialog box to select a level will come up. So in this case, yes, the the receptacles group has different levels assigned to it. So you can see, you know, it might be a uh, power for the in a floor installation instead of in a wall installation. So in this case, I'll choose E power wall. If the group only has one level assigned to it, you won't see this. It will just go on the one level that's assigned. So I'll click select OK right here. Now the symbol is out there. Notice that the place symbol tool cycled through again. So I could do something like this, come over here and set the offset to a different number. So I've set it to eight feet and then I can go CAD and then choose the level and then I'll cancel out of it and you can see in the top view that I've got another receptacle that's eight feet from that start point. So the first one was four feet, the second was, was eight feet. So again, you can use that cycle switch to continue to place receptacles like this. Now, let's look over here in the top view. I'm doing my control shift, right click, rotate, dynamic and I notice some of these symbols the 2d symbol is up above me well I want that to be down on the floor so I did a right click to get back to my top orientation there and I notice over here I, I don't even see the 2d symbols why is that well if we take a look at our view attributes over here notice that the constructions are turned off so those 2d symbols are construction class elements and so to see them, I can turn on my constructions in my view attributes. Now again, I notice that the symbol, the 2D portion of it got placed up above and I'm not sure why it's doing that, but if you see that happen, you can always come up to the modify height tool up here. So in this set of tools, you'll see this modify height tool. I can choose the symbol and it's showing me the current height of the 3D symbol. I'm not going to change it but I could use this to change the height of the 3D symbol. But if I just say okay right there, I notice that it fixes that 2D symbol. So I'll say okay right there. So if you ever happen to see that as you're using this tool, you can always fix it with that modify height tool right there. So the next video is placing a switch next to a door. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.